Engines, one of the world's most important innovations. They've been around for over 150 years, and they've powered everything from cars to planes to even that lawnmower in your garage. But how exactly do they function? Today, using the help of LEGO, I'm going to explain how engines work. Let's jump right in. The engine we're going to focus on in this video is what's known as a four-stroke engine. The four-stroke engine gets its name because it runs using four different strokes of the piston, also known as cycles, which are intake, compression, combustion, and exhaust. This LEGO model features all the main parts of a four-stroke engine. Starting off, we have the piston. This is what moves up and down inside the cylinder. Next, we have the crankshaft. This is what the piston connects to. It converts the linear motion of the piston into rotational motion. The crankshaft is also what's connected to the transmission in your car. The valves are what control airflow into and out of the cylinder. Four-stroke engines generally have two types of valves, intake and exhaust. The valves are operated by the camshaft, which is connected with a 2 to 1 ratio to the crankshaft. Meaning, for every two rotations of the crankshaft, the camshaft will rotate once. Often connected to the camshaft is what's called a distributor. Inside is a distributor rotor, as well as different contacts. Whenever the rotor touches a contact, it closes the circuit. This closed circuit sends electricity to the spark plug, which ignites the fuel inside the cylinder. So those are the basic parts of a four-stroke engine. Let's get into how these engines actually work. Let's start with the intake stroke. When the piston is at the top of the cylinder, or top dead center, the camshaft opens up the intake valve. Now in a lot of older vehicles and most lawnmowers, connected to the intake is what's called a carburetor, which is a special device that perfectly mixes fuel and air into a vapor. That vapor then travels through the intake port and into the cylinder. However, on modern cars, the intake just lets in fresh air and the fuel is injected into the cylinder. This is what's called direct injection, but for this video, let's just pretend this engine has a carburetor attached. So the air fuel mixture travels in through the intake port and is in the cylinder. Once the piston reaches the bottom of the cylinder, or bottom dead center, the intake valve closes and the piston rises. Since both the intake and exhaust valves are closed, the air has no way to escape the cylinder, so it compresses. This is called the compression stroke. When you compress the air fuel mixture, it'll burn more energetically. This will allow for more power to be produced. Then, once the piston reaches top dead center, the distributor rotor touches a contact, sending electricity to the spark plug. That spark ignites the air fuel mixture. This is what's known as the combustion stroke, or power stroke. Now a lot of people think that whenever the fuel ignites, the resulting explosion is what pushes the piston down. But that's actually not true. You see, when you ignite a fuel inside of the cylinder, it causes all the air to expand. And since there's no way for the air to escape, it creates large amounts of pressure. This resulting pressure is what pushes the piston down, giving the engine its power stroke. Then, once all the fuel has been burnt and the piston is now at bottom dead center, the exhaust valve opens. The piston rises and pushes out all the burnt gases. Then, once the piston reaches top dead center again, the intake valve opens and everything starts over. Well, I hope you learned something today. If you did, be sure to give the video a like and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.